What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the 2018 iPhone lineup, so stick around. Welcome back and huge shout out to Benjamin Geskin for supplying me with these dummy units. And in front of me is what we can expect to see in September when Apple announces their next generation iPhone lineup. So we can expect to see three new iPhones, an updated 5.8 inch iPhone, an all new 6.1 inch iPhone with a LCD display that will be slightly thicker than the other two with slightly thicker bezels as well. And will come with an aluminum frame rather than a stainless steel frame like you'll find on the two premium models, the 5.8 inch and the 6.5 inch. The 6.1 inch will also feature a single lens camera system rather than a dual vertical camera system that will come on the other two in an attempt to keep the cost low. Now speaking of the cost, it's rumored that the 6.1 inch iPhone 9 Plus or iPhone Lite will cost $699. Now something that might be disappointing to some is the notch will still be present on all three models. And new rumors suggest that the new iPhones could feature Apple Pencil support with the largest 6.5 inch iPhone being the most reasonable model to adapt the new technology. The two new OLED models, which will be the 5.8 inch and the 6.5 inch models, are said to have up to a 512 gigabyte storage option. There was also rumors that the new iPhones would support USB-C or be completely wireless. However, that's not the case as these dummy units are still shipping with a lightning port. Now there's no solid names for the devices yet, however the current rumors suggest that the 5.8 inch iPhone will be called the iPhone 10 due to the current iPhone 10 getting discontinued. The 6.1 inch iPhone will be called the iPhone Lite or iPhone 9, and the larger 6.5 inch iPhone is rumored to be called the iPhone 10 Plus. Now as we take a closer look at the larger 6.5 inch model, you can see that it's basically the same size as the current iPhone 8 Plus, only with the entire front being display rather than having a forehead or chin. To me that's going to be a good thing and a positive thing for Apple because you won't have to adjust to a bigger size phone in terms of a physical size in your hand. You're able to enjoy the same size form factor as a current plus size model just with a bigger size screen. Now one thing to mention is that all three new models will have that annoying rocking when placed on a flat surface due to the protruding cameras on all three. Now in terms of pixels per inch, the 5.8 inch OLED model is said to have 458 pixels per inch. The budget 6.1 inch model is said to have a PPI count of 330. And the 6.5 inch iPhone 10 Plus model is said to have a pixel per inch count of around 500. Now in regards to colors, current rumors suggest that the more premium iPhones, which will again be the 5.8 inch iPhone and the 6.5 inch iPhone 10 Plus, will come in black, white, and gold, while the budget 6.1 inch iPhone Lite or iPhone 9, whatever they decide to call it, is said to be available in gray, white, blue, red, and orange versions, similar to the color options that were available for the iPhone 5C. A couple other things worth noting about the 6.1 inch budget iPhone Lite or iPhone 9 is to keep costs low, Apple will also not implement the 3D touch feature and disappointingly enough, rumors have already been suggested that it will be back ordered until October. Some of the new features we can expect to see in the two new OLED models are such things as better face ID. We can expect the second generation face ID to be faster and it would be great if it could work at a wider angle and in different orientations on the device. Also better performance and bright sunlight would be great too. Now it was spotted in iOS 12 that Face ID 2 will allow different appearances which could mean that you could have a second person such as your spouse or a child unlock your phone too. And we could also see better virtual reality support since iOS 11 added support for Apple's AR kit to the iPhone 6s and later models we've seen plenty of augmented reality apps hit the App Store. AR Kit 2 and iOS 12 is adding even more fun tricks to the iPhone's mixed reality portfolio. Now Apple jumped into AR and VR at the 2017 WWDC event, although it was mostly Mac focused, however the company is working on a pair of standalone VR or AR glasses. Hopefully Apple will include a fast charger in the box this year that's said to charge up to 50% in 30 minutes. Now Apple could also adopt universal carrier support on one handset with dual SIM card slots. As usual, we can expect a new processor, the Apple A12 chip, and also 5G support. We'll also more than likely see more internal storage for the same price as Apple said to adopt the new 512GB storage option. 
Now, I got asked on Twitter if the bigger iPhones, which he was referring to both the 6.1-inch model and the 6.5-inch models, had a smaller notch since the screens are bigger. And the answer to that is no. The notch is the same size on all three models. However, the screens are bigger on the two bigger models, which means there's more screen to work with around the notch, which technically means that the iPhone 10 Plus will have the most available area around the notch. Now you can definitely tell that the 6.1 inch iPhone is slightly thicker and the form factor feels excellent in the hand. The screen on the 6.5 inch is big, however I don't think it's too big. It looks like it's going to be excellent for watching Netflix and YouTube videos and overall a great device for multimedia consumption. The two new iPhones with OLED displays will definitely have some impressive results boasting Super Retina displays. Although the 6.1 inch iPhone Lite or iPhone 9 will have an LCD display, Apple is known for outsourcing great LCD displays and the manufacturer of choice this year for Apple is LG. After holding all three models in my hand, I'd have to say that I'm leaning more towards the iPhone 10 Plus as my next daily driver. I like how big the screen is and it just feels like a great size phone for me. My current daily setup is the iPhone 10, Apple Watch Series 3, and Apple AirPods. Let me know down below what your current daily setup is. We also earlier in the year got our hands on a 3D printed model of the iPhone 10 Plus and it checks out size wise as well. We can expect to see an improved camera on the 5.8 inch and the 6.5 inch along with better battery life and 3 gigabytes of RAM. The 5.8 inch version could start at around $899 while the iPhone 10 Plus could start at $999 and top out at around $1,349 for the maxed out memory edition. Again, Apple is said to offer Apple Pencil support. However, rumors suggest that Apple could introduce a new smaller Apple Pencil to look more like a stylus rather than a pencil. All three models are said to support wireless charging and a glass back. Geekbench scores did leak, suggesting that the new iPhone will generate a single core score of 4,690 and a multi-core score of 12,902, which is amazing. Along with the new iPhone lineup, we can expect a few more products from Apple, such as new iPads with smaller bezels and Face ID support, a new AirPods wireless charging case. AirPower is also set to debut around September or October. And we might also see a new Apple Watch with thinner bezels and a more accurate health diagnostic system. From what I've gathered so far through conversations on Twitter is that people are expecting the 6.1 inch version to be the best seller and the perfect size iPhone. Now as far as a release date, Apple's keynote will be scheduled for September 12th with an estimated release date of September 22nd. This has been an early look at the 2018 iPhone lineup that we can expect to see from Apple in September. I hope I answered all the questions that you had about the devices. If not, leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll try to answer it for you. Now for a really quick response, message me on Twitter and I'm at review the best. Also let me know down below which of the three new iPhones you're most likely to buy and why. Now I'll be giving away an iPhone Lite or iPhone 9 along with the iPhone 10 Plus, so make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and following me on Twitter, which will keep you notified of when the contest starts. Now I'll keep you guys up to date on any more information that surfaces between now and the release of the next generation iPhones. Don't forget to drop a like rating down below if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future content. This is Aaron aka Review the Best from Apple Unboxed and I'll see you guys on the next one.